There are those who believe that greatness is all about what you have. That you can be a hero if you have a shiny car or a crazy outfit or, or fancy toys. Now, is, is Batman a, a hero simply because of his gadgets? Perhaps being a hero is not about what you have, but who you are. Jesus was born in a backwater town in the far corner of the unknown world. Born in a stable, he had no money. His family was poor. His father, Joseph, was a blue-collar carpenter. And for a time, his family was an even migrants who had to live in a foreign country. Isaiah 53, 2 describes Jesus like this. He says, There was nothing beautiful or majestic about his appearance, nothing to attract us to him. Jesus had no fancy car, no flattering clothes, no gadgets of any kind, but he was a hero. Because it's not about what you have that makes you heroic, it's about who you are and what you do. In John 1, Jesus described is described as the Word. He writes, In the beginning, the Word already existed. The Word was with God. The Word was God. He existed in the beginning with God. God created everything through Him, and nothing was created except through Him. The Word gave life to everything that was created, and His life brought light to everyone. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never extinguish it. We have a hero that brings light to everyone. And there's nothing that can put that light out. Psalms 139.12 says, Even the darkness I cannot hide from you. To you, the night shines as bright as day. Darkness and light are the same to you. Another name that is given to Jesus is Emmanuel, which means God with us. When you experience darkness in your life, know that you have a superhero with you, shining brightly. He is there to bring life and light into your life so you can shine that light to others.